If you were no longer affected by the judgment of others and you stopped judging yourself, would you make different choices? Everyone has the potency to make inspired choices. Get ready to listen, share, and experience the creativity that is you. Now, here's the host of Inspired Choices Radio Show, Possibilities Coach, Christine McIver. That's right, that's right, that's right. I am here. We're here to do another wonderful radio show. Oh my gosh, I've been doing radio now for seven years. Can you imagine? I don't even know how many radio shows I've ever done, but what I can tell you is, I'm going to keep on choosing them. And you know why? Because they're creating exactly what I desire, exactly what I'm looking to create in the world, and stepping up and being visible and bringing my voice to the table is exactly what I know will create what I desire and what others are asking for. So tonight we are talking about coming out from under the humble tree. What the hell is that all about, Christine? Well, we're going to get into that in just a second. Last week, we were talking about how vulnerability in business adds value. So you might notice that throughout my radio shows, what I'm doing is I'm kind of poking at and highlighting a lot of areas where businesses and individuals are pulling back, are buying the less than, the lack behaviors. And you know what? That's not creating the life that you desire. That is not actually changing something. And it's certainly, if you have laid on your heart the intention to help other people, um, you pulling back, you not stepping into all of you and embracing all of you, that's not actually going to be able to have you be in that position to contribute to others. So... That's a lot of what we'll be talking about on this show next week and I have on many of my other shows. So you can check out all of my archives here on the Inspired Choices Network um, and my radio show is called Inspired Choices Radio. Um, you can also check me out on iTunes, uh, Google Play, Radio Online. There's so many places and spaces where you can check the uh, check out all of the shows and I would love to hear from you. I'd love to get your feedback. Um, I, You know, when you, the listener, shares with me exactly what's going on in your world and and what these shows are contributing or even maybe where you don't agree, and I'm totally cool with that, it actually helps to create even greater. It really um, spurs me on and continues to have me move forward. So right now... In the Inspired Choices Network, there are 183 archives. So this will be the 184th show here on the Inspired Choices Network. And um, over the years, I was on Voice America as well and on A to Zen. So there's all sorts of shows out there. But tonight, we're going to be talking about coming out from under the humble tree. As I said last week, it was about vulnerability. And this is another aspect of being vulnerable, of really stepping into um, owning yourself and being vulnerable enough to take the steps. And and so we're going to talk a great deal about this. Before we get into the show, if you're new to the show, I just want to tell you a little bit about me. A lot of people ask me, Christine, what do you do? Well, I do a lot of different things. I am a business coach. I'm a personal coach. I love working with individuals around self-confidence, around um, moving beyond the limitation and the lack in their lives, also with relationships. And I have a fabulous uh, program called Divorce with Dignity and where I really work with individuals to have them create the closure of a relationship with dignity for everyone involved. Um, this can be an intimate relationship, perhaps a marriage or a union that has come to a close. Maybe it's a relationship with an employer, an employee, uh, a you know, a, a friend, a um, business partner. You know, all of these relationships, as we can close them out, they impact our future ones. So in that program, we really start to change the way that we we have honor and dignity for everyone involved, including ourselves. So that's one of the programs. I'm also 
a um, radio show host, producer, and I am the proud owner of the Inspired Choices Network. And, you know, this is something that um, has grown me, has me step out from under the humble tree, and has me really be in the space of vulnerability over the last many years. And so I'll share a little bit more about that as we continue. And as well, I am a, a energy healer. I do an energy modality called the Access Bars, and I do that with individuals, and also I facilitate that class. So if any of those pop for you, if you'd like to know a little bit more about me, um, you can connect with me, Christine, at inspiredchoices.ca. Um, check out my website, inspiredchoices.ca, or check me out here on the Inspired Choices Network. Okay, so let's get into tonight's show. Come out from under the humble tree. What are we hiding from with choosing to be under the humble tree? Who are you being with your humble attitude? Is being humble really making the impact in your life that you desire or are striving for? Do you even understand the lack energy of being humble? humble. Now this, you know, oftentimes when I'm coaching with individuals and um, we're working together, I, I get a lot of awarenesses and I get a lot of kind of like downloads of like, oh my gosh, this is what's going on. And this is where a lot of my radio shows come from, right? Which is the same for all of the amazing, brilliant radio show hosts here on the network. It's like it's in our day to day um, where we begin to to see, oh my gosh, this is something a lot of people are doing and I can speak to this and I can contribute to this. And so this came out of a conversation with a client and and in that moment, it was it was so obvious that this brilliant, what I saw in this brilliant individual, and, and, and I'm not going to break confidences, but I can tell you that this individual is extremely competent and capable. In fact, she is my client but I'm also her client because of, of uh, one of the services that she has. She's brilliant at it. And yet, in the moments when we were coaching together, she was being extremely humble. She was really pulling back. And I was like, wow, that's so fascinating that I can see the brilliance of her. And I know this isn't really new. I, I'm sure that many of you are like, yeah, yeah. We know we do that. Yeah, yeah. We know other people that do that. But this is really big, you guys. I really want you to hear what I'm saying. That with other people, like I'm kind of wired to see where people are brilliant, right? I mean, I'm looking for people's brilliance. I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm like excavating for your brilliance. I'm, I'm, I'm in that space. I'm in that energy. I'm always seeking to see that in other people, I guess, because you know, one of the things about me that a lot of people have said, and, and I will tell you, is I'm one of the greatest cheerleaders, uh, especially for my clients, especially for the people that I love and adore and, and people that are brilliant. I mean, I will shout it from the mountaintops about the brilliance of people when I really can see it and, and, and know the contribution that they're being in the world. So I know that many of us have heard this message, but many of us, way too many of us on the planet are not stepping into our brilliance and we're not owning it. We're really not believing it. We're not knowing it. We don't know it in our bones. And, and you know, so many of us from childhood have been told to not be so arrogant and not to be boastful and, you, you know, and actually told you should be humble. You should be humble. I, oh, my God. The, the, the deep energy of lack in there is crazy. So here is from the online etymology, the definition of humble is to be submissive, respectful, lowly in manner, modest, not self-asserting, pardon me, not self-asserting, and obedient. Oh my God, it actually goes on to say, render oneself humble is to bend, kneel, or bow. Okay, now this is not about saying that you should not honor other people, that you should not 
you know, hold amazing people that you love and care about in a beautiful honoring space, okay? But never, ever, ever do we want to make ourselves less than someone else. That's what brings us into this space of lack. That's where we begin to put people above ourselves and we consider ourselves less than them. And what we're doing is we're actually judging, right? So we've judged that person as greater than us. And then what we're doing at the same moment is we're judging ourselves less than them. When we do this, we start to bring ourselves down in the less than, the lack energy. And as one of our, our radio show hosts, like it's been talked about a lot over this week, but we've talked about so many times how when we are showing up in lack in one area of our life, it bleeds into the other areas of our lives as well. And so it, it really creates this space where we're fighting against our own desires. We're fighting against our own selves. And we're certainly not moving ourselves forward at the speed and and pleasure and joy that our hearts desire. I know many, many, many people out there are feeling like they're behind or they're not getting anywhere or their lives are not in that space that they desire. And guys, it's not about something outside of us. It's not about somebody not showing up for us, it's its really about us not showing up for us. And I'll tell you a very simple example of this. And many people are, are, are very comfortable with this example. So for 25 years, I did human resources. And one of the areas that I really did not enjoy doing in human resources initially was in recruiting. And in recruiting, you know, you're having to go through all these resumes and they're like, oh, it was just like vanilla, vanilla, bland, bland. Everybody's was the same, same, same. And I'm telling you, talk about frigging boring as hell. It was like, ugh. And it just, it didn't have any excitement to it. It didn't have any punch to it. Nothing turned me on and lit me up about having to, you know, look through hundreds of resumes for a job and then oh there's so much more to that but when people would come in for their interviews right a lot of the times their resumes did not match how they were showing up in their interview and their their resumes you know especially the well polished ones would be like you know really strongly saying I'm I'm this and I'm that and I do this and I've done that and and they would be you know especially the, the real executives that were coached in their resumes and yet they would show up in front of me and they would be this energy of humbleness and they would be this like lack they would they would be pulling back and they would be you know very modest they would be very submissive in their energy and there was times, and this is when I started to really enjoy the recruiting, because there was times when they would be doing this and I would kind of stop the interview and I would say, now is the time to really step out. Now is the time to brag. Please, show me. Tell me about you. Tell me about the truth of what you have created, what you have done you know, what have you accomplished? Please don't hold back. Because that's what I needed to know about the person. I really needed to know the truth of them. So what is the truth of you? Are you this person who has created amazing things in the world that you know something that you're brilliant at? Are you phenomenal at one thing that you know most other people around you are not? Do you actually stand out and shine in an area at work with your clients, with your family, that a lot of other people go, wow, you're brilliant at that. And the minute that someone acknowledges you, do you cower? Do you pull back? Do you go, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, you know, thanks. Oh, really? I really don't see it that way. It's just everything, every day to me, right? 
Do you get how we do that? And and if you're doing that in a job interview, how successful are you going to be at securing that job? I can tell you after 25 years, you're not going to get the job. You're not. Because an employer wants someone who's going to own it. An employer, and a, most employers will not do what I did, did. They will not say, please, I need you to shine right now. I need you to really boast for yourself out there. So I want you to think about that. I want you to think about over the break, what are you doing with the brilliance of you? When you are being and doing it and then it's acknowledged, do you cower? Okay, we're going to go for our first commercial break. When we get back, we're going to dive in deeper. You are listening to myself, Christine McIver, here on the Inspired Choices radio show on the Inspired Choices Network. Stick around, folks. We'll be right back. Many of us make choices in our lives based on the past or what others think. What would our lives be like if we made choices based on what we desire in this moment? By tuning in to Inspired Choices Radio Show with Possibilities Coach Christine McIver, you'll receive tools and inspiration you can use to do just that. You are an infinite being with infinite choices. Are you ready to create the life and living you truly desire? Listen for Inspired Choices Radio Show every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Mountain, and 5 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Do you want the world to be greater? Are you a seeker, and do you know more is possible? Together, we can make it happen. Join us for the 22nd Century Consciousness Showcase. More than 20 movers and shakers in the world of empowerment will unveil their strategies for creating dynamic future success. All our speakers will invite and inspire you with their visions in the exciting world of consciousness. Each of them have put together amazing promotional packages with extraordinary pricing that will be available to you just for participating with us. The showcase begins June 11th and runs through June 15th. Join us at InspireChoicesNetwork.com to never miss any of the amazing video conversations and fabulous offerings. We look forward to creating the future consciousness with you. This is Inspired Choices Radio Show with Possibilities Coach Christine McIver. To participate in the program, call in the U.S. 815-880-8255. In Canada, 613-800-8736 or Skype us at Inspired Choices Network. You can also make the choice to ask or comment by email by sending to christine at inspiredchoices.ca. Now, back to the program. Oh, folks, thank you so much for sticking around tonight. Yes, we are talking tonight about coming out from under the humble tree. And what we really, what I really want people to get to is the impact of what you are doing with being under the humble tree. Now, I'm just using a very fun little little line about the humble tree, but it's like we're hiding, right? We're hiding under something with this humbleness. Now, before um, we get back into the show, you just heard a commercial about the 22nd century consciousness. I just want to talk to you about that. This is a, a fabulous creation that we've got going on here at the Inspired Choices Network. This is a, a week-long event where I get to have the pleasure of interviewing these amazing people. We've got 20-plus speakers that we're going to be doing video interviews with them, and you can join us live. You can be asking them questions live during the live video interviews. Um, they're going to be done June 11th through June the 15th, we're going to be doing up to five every single day, and they're going to be, you know, short interviews. They're about 30 minutes long, so that you can be listening to them, participating with total ease, and these individuals are going to be talking about what they're doing right now in their lives, in the lives and, and their businesses, in their personal businesses, and, and most especially on their radio shows. It's true, the content that they're creating through the voice that they're bringing into the world, all about consciousness. They're going to have so many tools. They're going to be talking about how together we are creating the future of consciousness. Now, 
all of these hosts, on top of this brilliant interview, they are also going to be sharing amazing packages. And I can't let the cat out of the bag on any of them, but I can tell you this, that they are going to be phenomenal packages that you are going to be able to take advantage of. They are going to be, the price point is insane. I mean, some of them are giving, you know, well over a thousand dollars worth of worth of a package for less than $200. So do come to the Inspire Choices Network. You can register right there from the homepage. And um, definitely you want to join us. Uh, we'll see the advertisements all over Facebook, Instagram, and so on. But come on over and uh, play with us on the 22nd Century Consciousness. It's going to be a fabulous week of interviews. So let's get back into this. Now, what I just did was I talked about a creation that myself and my team came up with. And, you know, five years ago, I probably couldn't have been that confident talking to you about this creation. But guess what? I'm no longer choosing to be humble. I'm no longer choosing to be submissive. Or, you know, just kind of squeak through the cracks with, yeah, we're doing this. Right? No. I'm going to stand up and I'm going to own it. I'm going to own the brilliance of it. Because when I'm not bringing my voice to the table, just like when you're not bringing your voice to the table, people cannot hear you. You are actually bringing lack into your world and you're actually creating lack in the universe. You're creating lack with other people. If you don't bring your gifts to the table, how can other people learn from you? How can other people take advantage? And I mean really like, oh my gosh, I want to work with this person. Oh my gosh, I want to learn from this person. Oh my gosh, I, I, I just want to hear what they have to say so that it can permeate into my world. If you're not bringing your voice to the world, other people are going to be missing out on the brilliance of you. There are seven and a half billion people on this planet, and I'll tell you something that I know deep in my bones. There's not one person that is not of value. There is not one person on this planet that doesn't have something to contribute. There's absolutely not one of you listening to me, not one of you anywhere in any you know, any country, any corner of this world that doesn't have the knowing of something that somebody else doesn't have. There are so many friggin' people that have done some amazing things and they would have, many of them have talked about, like they didn't realize that what they were bringing was important. They didn't realize that somebody would actually like what they had. But that's the problem. We're, we're oftentimes being held down and being stopped by belief systems by other people. And, and you know what? God bless those people that said those things to us because it was said to them as well. And you know, you absolutely know that when they said that to you and, and you felt this, maybe you felt shame or you felt um like bad, quote unquote bad, or you thought, oh my gosh, you know, I was being so arrogant. And that very heavy energy, you know that that's a lie. It's not true for you. When you're stepping in and you're being and doing what is fun and ease and pleasurable and brilliant that you bring to the table, how much joy do you have? How much pleasure do you have? Like, truthfully, here's what happens a lot of the time for people is they will step in to doing what they're brilliant at. They'll be like, they'll just be in a zone, right? Like, have you ever seen a child creating something and they're in a zone and they don't see anybody around, right? And they're a little child before they've bought into this, don't be arrogant, you know, you should be, you should be humble bullshit. And when when you look at a child and when you acknowledge the brilliance of what they're creating, they beam. I mean, seriously, if you could 
plug into the electrical beam that is coming out of every orifice of their body, you could light up cities with the joy, with the, with the pride, with the pleasure that they are receiving in their body at that moment. It's friggin' awesome. And you know what? That child, and I, I've seen it, and I'm sure you have seen it as well, that child will turn around, and whatever you acknowledge them on, wherever they acknowledged as well by receiving that beautiful acknowledgement, they will turn around and they'll create even greater. They will step into more of their brilliance. They will expand their brilliance. Pardon me, I just need to take a drink of water. <laughs> Thank you. They will absolutely 100% step up their game. And they will bring more to the table than they ever even realized they had available to them. Right? And then let's move forward. Let's move forward a few years when that child is in school. That child is in school and suddenly they're being judged. They're being compared. They're being told possibly they're not enough. They're being told possibly they, when they actually are excited and they're boasting about their brilliance, that they should be humble, that they shouldn't be so arrogant, that you know, dial it back. You don't want to be, you don't want to be a victim of people's ridicule. Well, why do people ridicule us when we step out into our brilliance? Why do they do that? It's a bully energy, right? And we know that the bully is often operating from a place of lack, a place of less than, a place of self-judgment. They're scared. They're in fear. <laughs> seriously it's so freaking crazy this circle of insanity that we have created in our society where we turn ourselves down where we turn down other people because we have not been given the permission to turn ourselves up well if you need to be given permission i'm telling you right now you got it i'm giving you the permission but here's the trick. You don't need it from me. You need it from you. Go look in the mirror. Talk to yourself. Acknowledge the brilliance you be. You know what? If you need to write down every day three things that you did that were amazing to start to build up that self-confidence, please do this. Please step in and own the brilliance that you are. Because when you're being humble, you are creating lack in your life, you're creating lack in your joy, you're creating lack in your bank account, you're creating lack in the pleasure of your body, you're creating lack in your relationships. Please, my friend, listen to what I'm saying. Yes, it might be scary at first. Yeah, you might even cry. I know I did. I know still today. Oh, wow, the tears want to come up right now. I know still today when somebody acknowledges me, it still touches a nerve inside of me. I don't make the tears wrong. I just acknowledge, wow, I'm growing. And sometimes I have to, when someone is acknowledging me, I just have to go, okay, receive, 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 receive. And I keep doing this because you know what? What I desire in my life is to have way more pleasure and way more joy and way more experiences and adventure and really bringing what I know to the table because one of the biggest things that lays on my heart is dying, coming to the end of my life with regret, with having quieted my voice in my life. That is one of the biggest, most important things to me is to step onto the stage of my life and bring what I know to others. Not pushing it, but saying it from my space and having those people that are looking for it show up to receive it. 
So what would it take for you right now to choose that? What would it take for you to choose right in this moment to no longer be humble, no longer be less than someone, and no longer choose lack in the brilliance of who you be, what you create in the world, and what you bring to each and every moment of your life? Are you willing? Because that's all that's required, my friends. It's just a willingness to change this. We are going to go for our second break of the show. I'll give you a little space to breathe all of that in. I'm a little intense on this subject. When we get back, we're going to answer your questions. We're going to talk more about what else is possible and what's being created in the world when we're no longer choosing to be humble. Stay tuned, my friends. It's Christine McIver on the Inspired Choices radio show on the Inspired Choices Network. We'll be right back. Many of us make choices in our lives based on the past or what others think. What would our lives be like if we made choices based on what we desire in this moment? By tuning in to Inspired Choices Radio Show with Possibilities Coach Christine McIver, you'll receive tools and inspiration you can use to do just that. You are an infinite being with infinite choices. Are you ready to create the life and living you truly desire? Listen for Inspired Choices Radio Show every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Mountain, and 5 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Do you want the world to be greater? Are you a seeker, and do you know more is possible? Together, we can make it happen. Join us for the 22nd Century Consciousness Showcase. More than 20 movers and shakers in the world of empowerment will unveil their strategies for creating dynamic future success. All our speakers will invite and inspire you with their visions in the exciting world of consciousness. Each of them have put together amazing promotional packages with extraordinary pricing that will be available to you just for participating with us. The showcase begins June 11th and runs through June 15th. Join us at InspiredChoicesNetwork.com to never miss any of the amazing video conversations and fabulous offerings. We look forward to creating the future consciousness with you. This is Inspired Choices Radio Show with Possibilities Coach Christine McIver. To participate in the program, call in the U.S. 815-880-8255. In Canada, 613-800-8736 or Skype us at Inspired Choices Network. You can also make the choice to ask or comment by email by sending to christine at inspiredchoices.ca. Now, back to the program. Welcome back, everyone. Thanks so much for joining me tonight. We are talking about coming out from under the humble tree. So if you're just joining the show, thank you so much for joining now or in the future. But what I'd love you to do is to go back and listen to this from the beginning because we really dove deep into what being humble was all about. So, you know, one of the things that is extremely important for you to remember and to understand is that you came here with a special capacity, a special abilities, and, and you may not have discovered those yet. That's okay. But as you begin to acknowledge where you are brilliant, where you are really creating something special, and your something special could be you make the best damn cookies that changes people's day. Like when they bite into your cookies, they go into this space of ease and their bodies relax and they are no longer thinking about the insane traffic that they were driving through or the fight they had with their kids at night or how their world just seems upside down. You give them the space of ease for even just five minutes or maybe you're one of these people that love to walk down the street and make eye contact with others and when someone looks at you you really connect with them 
and you smile. Do you know that 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 smile could be the only smile that that person has had in days? In days. That smile could be something that will have that person choose to stay in their body and try again tomorrow. You might be someone that works in a job that you've decided is not very glamorous, and yet people love coming to your cash register because you make them feel important for just a few minutes. You might be someone that does something for a teacher at school who's who's struggling to stay ahead of all the demands. You may be someone that is just there when someone needs to hear, I love you. Do you understand that doing something amazing in the world doesn't mean that you've invented some great, big, huge, powerful, new creation, some powerful new technology. Doing things great in the world is also about being present with another person. It's about acknowledging the capacities that you have in each and every moment and the contribution that you are to those around you, whether you know them or you're not. Have you ever driven, have you ever been driving your car and you come up to a stoplight and you're sitting there and you turn your head to one side and the other person in the car beside you turns their head and you smile and they smile? Do you ever drive away like it just, it just about brings tears to me because you drive away and you know I know I touched that person's heart. I touched that person's life. This is not about these huge, momentous creations that you maybe only do once in a lifetime. Coming out from the humble tree is doing and being the brilliance of you in everything that you do. And if you're someone who is creating in their career or in your business and you desire to be much more potent, much more visible, much more seen and received, you've got to begin to acknowledge the small things and then they will grow. Everything acknowledged grows. Every single solitary thing in the world, when acknowledged, blooms. But if you're under the humble tree, and you're bowing down, and you're being submissive, you're not looking up. You're not acknowledging the brilliance of you. Being humble is not a contribution in the world. Being humble is not what we've been taught that it is. Instead of using the word humble, I'd love you to use the word to honor another. To honor another is to acknowledge the brilliance that they be. And in acknowledging and honoring another, you do not have to be submissive or create you in lack. What would the world be like if each and every one of us was to acknowledge the brilliance that we be and the brilliance that that person is also being? This is not about competition. When you can honor someone else, and you can acknowledge and can see them for the brilliance that they be, it actually can fill you up. It actually can add 
to your brilliance. It can have you step out even more. You know, this is something that's going on right now on the network as we're creating this new event, the 22nd Century Consciousness, that all of the hosts are starting to really rally together and acknowledging each other and cheering each other on and we're really stepping out there and together we really do desire to make a momentous impact with others to so many of the hosts you know what they bring to the table is is that energy of inspiring others in some way to contribute in some way and in doing so we desire for others to receive and step in and contribute as well. So it's so much fun to see this coming out from the humbled under the humble tree in live creation. It's just it's absolutely amazing. And it and it brings me so much joy and it it fills me up and and it it gets me out of bed every day to want to create even more. I know that as I've stepped forward and I've created this platform and I've continued to be on the on the show and I've I've continued to do my radio show and I've continued to bring my voice out even when nobody has ever commented about a show that I've created I know I absolutely 100% know that I'm being a contribution in the world and I can tell you my friends it hasn't always felt that way it hasn't always felt that way because I was looking for acknowledgement. And I'm not going to lie. I like acknowledgement. But I was making someone else acknowledging me more important than me acknowledging me. And that had me actually hide under the humble tree. It had me be in that energy of less than and lack. So it's been a journey. It's been, sometimes it felt like I, I was climbing a mountain to move into this space of being visible and really owning my capacities, owning the brilliance of me. There were many, many times when I didn't think that I would ever get to that space. But I'm here now. And I'm grateful that I never stopped. I'm grateful that even <laughs> through the tears, I kept choosing. I wonder if we didn't make ourselves wrong for the tears when someone acknowledged us. I wonder if we just stepped in and we leaned into all of that energy and we allowed the tears to come up and flow. I wonder what example we would be for another. Because one of the things that I know so, so much is about 98% of the people on this planet really really suck at receiving the brilliance that they be. They really suck at someone acknowledging them. They absolutely pull away from allowing others to cheer them on. They absolutely cannot honestly believe that they're enough that someone would acknowledge it, would see it, would really see them. And that that actually has them come undone sometimes, just like it has me many times. You know, if this show is speaking to you on any level, I would love, love to hear from you. Would love to have an email from you. And I'm going to make an offer that I don't usually make. But if this is an area that you're struggling with, if this is an area where you really know it's locking you down from creating, from expanding, from having you step into your business, 
having you step into your life, to the love that you desire to have in your life, to the relationship you desire to have with your children, family members, or even with your financial reality, I'm going to offer you a special discount. And I did not pre-plan this, but my sessions are normally $250, and I'm going to offer them for only $125. So I'm going to offer you a 50% discount on a coaching session if you contact me in the next two weeks. You contact me, and we have that session within the next two weeks. So that's a half-price session for an hour, and it'll be recorded so that you can listen to it again and again. All right? And you can choose three sessions at 50%, at the 50% discount. So you can email me, Christine, at inspiredchoices.ca, and um, just quote, I'm no longer choosing to be humble. <laughs> I'm no longer choosing to be humble. And that may be hard for you to even type it, but I double-dog dare you to try it. Because this is extremely important to me. This is extremely important that we change this in the world. So we're going to go for our final break of the show. And when we get back, we're going to wrap all of this up. You are listening to Christine McIver on the Inspired Choices radio show here on the Inspired Choices Network. Stick around, everyone. We'll be right back. Many of us make choices in our lives based on the past or what others think. What would our lives be like if we made choices based on what we desire in this moment? By tuning in to Inspired Choices Radio Show with Possibilities Coach Christine McIver, you'll receive tools and inspiration you can use to do just that. You are an infinite being with infinite choices. Are you ready to create the life and living you truly desire? Listen for Inspired Choices Radio Show every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Mountain, and 5 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Are you a subject matter expert? Are you here to share your expertise with an audience waiting to hear from you in only the way you can deliver? Are you ready to have your voice amplified across the airwaves? Inspired Choices Network has a global radio platform streaming to millions of people across the world. Professionally produced and supported by an accomplished team every step of the way, you can broadcast from anywhere in the world knowing your voice matters and we ensure it is delivered with ease and efficiency. Eager to hear your message, the world awaits. Contact us today to become an Inspired Choices Network radio host. Email become a host at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. This is Inspired Choices Radio Show with Possibilities Coach Christine McIver. To participate in the program, call in the U.S. 815-880-8255. In Canada, 613-800-8736 or Skype us at Inspired Choices Network. You can also make the choice to ask or comment by email by sending to christine at inspiredchoices.ca. Now, back to the program. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. We are talking about coming out from under the humble tree and how being humble is actually creating lack in our world. It's creating lack in your world, and it's creating lack in other people's worlds. You have the capacity to contribute to your own lives. You have the capacity to change what's not working in your life, We've been taught so many times that we have to work hard, that we have to do and be all of these things for other people around us. And in doing that, we're looking outside of ourselves. Well, when we're doing that, we're not actually looking at ourselves and looking at where we are brilliant, where we actually create amazingness. Because we're always looking at what everybody else is doing and judging what they're doing is better than ourselves. And then everything inside of us starts to cower. Everything inside of us starts to turn down. I really want to encourage you, my friend, 
to find one thing, one thing that you absolutely know you are brilliant at. And if you can't get to brilliant, that you're good at. One thing that you enjoy, that you have pleasure at. And really juice it. Really turn it up. Play with it. Have it be even more than it's ever been before. You know, when I was a little child, I was told that I talked too much. And I literally turned myself down. I judged myself so harshly for so, so many years. I know today that I have a voice to change things in the world with people. I know I have already done that. I know that by me choosing to bring my voice to the world, I started to encourage other people. I could see the brilliance that was in me. I could start to recognize it in others. And I started to bring their awareness to their voice. We have had well over 70 hosts here, probably close to 100 hosts here on this network, bringing their brilliance and their voice to the world. And we have had hundreds of guests throughout the years on this platform and thousands and thousands of listeners to our radio shows by me choosing to bring my voice to the world and acknowledging the brilliance that I be. It has rippled out. And I can tell you probably six months ago, I couldn't have said that. Certainly couldn't have said that publicly on air. But yeah, I'm here to change the world. And if that means I have to get uncomfortable with my acknowledgement, I'm willing to. What are you willing to be and do in order to change your world? And you don't have to hurt anybody in the process. Nobody else has to get less in the world because of it. Nobody else has to step behind you in order to do that. None of it. You willing to step out there from the place of knowing, not from the place of push, not from the place of shoving it down somebody's throat, but the place of acknowledging the brilliance that you be each and every day, the contributions that you're being each and every day, do you know that you can change the world? One of the things that I absolutely love to do is to bake. I love baking. And when I bring baking to people, I love to bake pies and I love to bake cookies. I love to bake desserts. I have <laughs> a very special family, my own included, that love my Mississippi mud. And I, when I watch them enjoy that, it brings so much pleasure to me and to their world. I acknowledge that. My friends, I want to encourage you to begin to see the possibilities that are right there in front of you, that you can start changing your world from a lack less than in any area to one of um, unimaginable possibilities where you can impact the rest of the world. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for listening. Thank you for the contributions you are being in the world. And thank you for hearing me tonight. Because I know that together, one step at a time, we are changing this lack then. Lack is absolutely a lie. Together, we can change more. Please be sure to contact me for that 50% off special that I just randomly threw out there today. Three sessions, up to three sessions, 50% off. Um, Christine at inspiredchoices.ca. Next week, my friends, we're going to be talking about are you scanning for problems or possibilities? Be sure to come back. We'll talk to you then. Remember, you can always make another choice. Thank you for choosing Bye to listen now, to Inspired friend. Choices Radio Show. Christine McIver will return next Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Mountain, and 5 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. We hope you'll join us. Until then, have the best week of your life by making the choices that bring you all that you desire.